Hey, I hope you're staying healthy, happy, and hydrated. Today, we have a dev chat from May 20th, 2022. Just as a reminder, not every single thing you see in these chats will be featured in the game. The game is still in pre-alpha development. That means things can change, be improved, or be removed altogether. I personally like to think of these as more of a brainstorming session. If you want to learn more about Paralives, please visit their website. They have a ton of helpful information over there, as well as their social media and Patreon page. Our first set of questions is the community voted ones. That means that these ones got the most reactions on Discord. Early access won't feature a form of transportation like a car or a bike. So it's good to know that the town, despite it being big, won't be that big. The pair of folk can reasonably walk to and from locations. Even if it'll take them a little extra time getting there than it would if they were riding a bike. This is not confirmed, but the idea of writing a book and then the book actually being a thing in the game brings me so much joy. I would love it if it worked like that in the game. It would truly allow the players to see the impact of their paras on the world. And it would be very sweet to see. Modders can edit some wall properties. What does that even mean? Well, it means that modders will be able to change the wall heights and thickness, enabling, disabling debug items and other things of that nature. Let's check out the general questions, shall we? The team has been using real life scaling for the furniture and para folk. They also use a para in order to check if the proportions are looking good. Chloe has been carrying a measuring tape around to measure stuff so that they can double check the measurements they find online. Most of the older videos are considered prototypes because they have static elements within them that they didn't actually have build tools for yet. For example, the roof and stairs. They were showcasing a small part of what would become the whole game. As of right now, the team is focused on live mode, like the interactions, action cue, character animations, needs, skills, careers, etc. After they make some good progress on all of that, then they'll start to design the town. When that time comes, we'll see updates relating to that. Here are some dev questions. If you were to have a basement that is only accessible through a secret passageway, what would be down there? For me, I'd have to agree with Etienne on this one. I'd love to have a cozy gaming area hidden from the noise and judgment from the outside world. Although I would want to have a rain noise machine down there or something like an Alexa or Google Home just to play rain noises. Gaming hits differently when it sounds like there's a thunderstorm outside. Don't you agree? What's your personal favorite expansion pack from any iteration of The Sims? I think for me, it would be Sims 2 University or Seasons. Let me know what your favorite feature is from Paralives. I have to agree and say that I love the ability to resize objects. I think that's crazy. Moving on to build mode. As of right now, walls can have two moldings, one at the very top and one at the very bottom. It's still not exactly confirmed if there will be huge wall covering moldings, you know, like something that would cover the whole wall, but you will be able to get pretty creative with the top and bottom moldings. Custom content, like custom images for picture frames, will not be transferred over to other players through the Steam Workshop if you share your build or character. If you have custom content, the other player will just see an empty frame or whatever it is. You'll have to upload a separate mod with the custom content for them to download as well if they want your custom content. There is a possibility that they might be able to add the ability to bundle custom content alongside your house or character when you share them on the Steam Workshop, but that's in the future. Last but not least, Paramaker questions, answers, and ideas. For now, the minimum height for a para will be 4'9", and the maximum is 6'4". This might change in the future. You probably won't be able to make a para that sounds like a robot. This is because distortion and other effects similar to that would be very unnatural sounding, and it isn't exactly the mood, the vibe that para lives will have. The overall level of customization will depend on the level of complexity of the para's interactions. They're gonna have to anticipate the possible scenarios before confirming the customization of the para's voices. On the roadmap, it says, create skin textures for children and elders. But that doesn't mean Eli will be recreated with a new skin texture. They might rework it and create variations of Eli's current skin texture for different weights. 
Elder skin textures might be shown off similar to the video that showcased the skin texture based sliders, or it might be when we see an elder for the first time. Isn't it crazy that we're already done another dev chat? Time sure flies when you're having fun, and even when you're not having fun. But I do hope you are having fun because fun is nice, you know? If you had some fun while watching this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe for more fun in the future. Thank you. I'm sending all of you good vibes and love. Stay healthy, happy, and hydrated. Until next time, bye.